hello there um this one this one's a picture of orange phoenix again i was doing it because i recently had a chat with him i had a chat with him for lavecon and i planned this picture to do for lavecon and i i, I thought which one shall i do and, and he sent me a bunch of pictures and i, and I looked through them and, that, and he's he does these really amazing photos it was, it was really hard and this one was nice i really liked it but i knew it wasn't quite it, it wasn't quite momentous in the same way it was just a little close-up and i thought well it might not hold the attention for the length of time it's a quicker one to do it, this hasn't taken me as long so i thought well i'll do this anyway to get myself in the mood and <laughs> And I, I really love the colours in it. I'm a sucker for an orange sky. And and, and not only that, there's the, the reflection of the star or the, the, the light shining through the visor. That's the best bit of this picture is that, is that a visor, which has got the UV filter on it, obviously. And uh, But it's it gleaming red against this white star and, uh, and the atmosphere of the oranges and the purples and the pinks. And it was just lovely, this, this sort of real dark sunset. So I'm banging a bit of water on top of my um, watercolour pencil crayon. I put that base coat of dark on it because this silhouetted landscape is, um, is, is in sharp contrast to the uh, evening sort of dusky twilight that's going on. And you've got that kind of still slight awareness of shapes on the land, but it's all fading into black. So if I put that dark tone in first, anything I put on top of it, it's going to be easier to work with. And it will give me a bit more of a clear idea about what colour balance is for the rest of the picture. So I can do the, the, the space suit in a, in a similar tone, but it's, it's different colour brown, I guess. I'm putting chalk on top now, but I can rub that out and add other colours of chalk on top of that as well. So that's fine. And uh, I'll start to use a bit of a mask to allow me to use chalk, but uh, still get the shapes, but still get the shapes right. <laughs> I need to use paint for his tufty moustache. It's, it's great that they've been able to make the commanders a little bit, bit more tailored. <laughs> it's great. It's fab how many different coloured atmospheres there are in, in Odyssey. There are all different types of um, gases. The makeup of the gas is different. So you've got your hydrogen, helium, your oxygen, and then you've got things like ammonia maybe, or neon in there that change, or they all change the colours of the atmospheres. And they, they know what the atmosphere is made of. And they also know what colour it should be at what time of day. And it's just fabulous. It's so clever. I really enjoy it. And obviously to me, it's just all pretty colours. And I, I really enjoy the way that the, the upper part of this atmosphere is dark, purpley blue, and it goes through the purples and the pinks and into almost peach colours and oranges and then red on that horizon where it's thickest. And it just it's just so fantastic. And of course, this is a sunset. So you're getting that, that change in the, uh, the, the the reflection of the light, the, the scattering, I think it is, isn't it? it it's just it's just so cool and and this is just thin atmospheres really thin atmosphere I mean, obviously they had to have the atmospheres thin because they didn't want to have to program all the weather that you get if they had the atmosphere any thicker because you couldn't be doing with messing around with how people walk in the wind or if there's sudden dust storms or the the buffeting of the spaceship going down onto the planet's surface and in in inclement weather i mean imagine that I mean, they, they'll get there i'm sure in the end but right now what we've got is still or inspiring really and i love the way because the atmosphere is so thin you're still seeing the stars through it like it's night but with bright colors it's just so fantastic not only that but you get you're getting the reflection of these colors now on the ships and on the flight suits this is the only flight suit i've really um, drawn so far the explorer one because i've, I've mostly been uh, taking photos of people with exploration and stuff on but uh, as time goes i'm sure i'll start i'll start drawing the new the, like the raider suits and the funky outfits which you can get you like your stetsons and whatnot i'm really looking forward to doing it it's going to be so good <laughs> anyway, right, um, yeah, I'll do another picture in a few days. Bye.